the critical things to grow a good quality tree is what you do at the beginning. You need the strong roots for, for the foundation. And then I look at the trunk. The trunk needs to be strong and go in the right direction. And then I look at all these branches as a symbol for diversification and uh, trying different projects, try different area, and uh, you go toward the sky. The sky is the limit. Situated among Central Florida's rolling hillsides and surrounded by lakes, you will find Cherry Lake. Cherry Lake covers 1,800 acres, growing 84 varieties of palms, trees and shrubs, and outsourced material. Located in Groveland, Florida, Cherry Lake provides turnkey landscape and irrigation construction services, landscape maintenance solutions, and horticultural expertise. Founder and owner Michel Salin in 1985 founded Cherry Lake Tree Farm with his wife Veronique, which in 2016 was rebranded simply as Cherry Lake. Today, Michel and Veronique work with their daughters, Melanie and Chloe, son Timothy, and son in law Todd. Cherry Lake has earned the reputation as a premier provider of landscape plants and trees in the southeastern United States. From propagation and cultivating saplings in their greenhouses to pruning and growth maintenance in the fields, every stage is handled with attention to detail, from seeds and cuttings to full adult trees and plant material. And the quality of its products has made it a landscaping favorite for commercial, resorts and theme parks, and community developments throughout the state and nation. While they have achieved success in the industry, Cherry Lake is not satisfied with maintaining the status quo. I like to say, if it's not broken, break it and rebuild it better because I feel nothing is permanent. It changes all the time and you want to control the change. It's important to always look for continuous improvement, uh, learn new things, new technique, and uh, always look for uh, better ways. Innovation requires a strong spirit of collaboration. You really need to open yourself up to communicate and collaborate with as many people as possible. It's the cross-fertilization of ideas that leads to innovation. That has led us to be very engaged in the industry, and in the end, that returns more benefits to us than it exposes us to risk. So these are the um, Eagles and Hollies. Okay. And we grew in AirPods, and one of the first places we trialed the, uh, the, new, the new emitters. Over the years, Cherry Lake has partnered with numerous professionals and state universities to pioneer a number of best management practices. Working with the St. John's River Water Management District, Cherry Lake is retrofitting portions of its irrigation system to further reduce groundwater use. As it ships trees and plants out of production, the farm is able to shut off water emitters and individual risers eliminating waste by not watering vacant planting zones. Through these water management practices, Cherry Lake will reduce its water consumption by an estimated 75 to 90 million gallons annually. To monitor the amount of water the farm is putting on its crops, a dedicated team of water checkers measure the soil moisture content for each container on a daily basis. Although this sampling takes a tremendous amount of time and resources, it reflects Cherry Lake's commitment to water management. As an agriculturalist, I love to see everything that Cherry Lake is doing. In order for farming to be sustainable in this state, we've got to protect the natural resources. And so the work that Cherry Lake does is going to have such a positive impact on the environment. And it's such an inspiration for other agriculturists throughout the state. Collaborating with researchers from St. John's Water Management District and the University of Florida, Cherry Lake is developing new methods to prevent leaching. By correlating the amount of leachate from a designated container and in addition with corresponding weather conditions, researchers can create an irrigation model for any kind of plant at any given time of the year. The result is a reduction of disease incidence and water savings without influencing plant growth and production. 
The benefit of having it done on a farm is that we can say this is what it is in real life. It's much more believable. It really helps other growers to see that they can try a new technique, a new way of doing things that will help them either save money or save the environment. That is one of the things that makes Cherry Lake a leader in our farming community because they are innovative and then they're willing to work with our researchers and willing to share those results so that everybody can benefit from that research and, and showing how it works in the real world. Cherry Lake has also minimized nutrient leaching when applying fertilizer. Using a procedure called dibble fertilizing, Workers are able to place fertilizer directly to the root zone of each plant, minimizing runoff. Cherry Lake has an integrated pest management program with techniques including scouting, use of beneficials, biologicals, and processes that build up a plant's natural resistance. Using LED light traps throughout the evening allows the farm to monitor for the presence of harmful insects and, when needed, the farm can employ environmentally conscientious pest control treatments. Cherry Lake believes that even small incremental changes produce large savings. For example, the farm uses air pots, production containers that prevent circling roots in plants and trees. By using this more durable container and recycling all of the pots in-house, Cherry Lake can keep all its trees and plants healthy while being environmentally responsible. To me, good stewardship is the care and protection of our natural resources. Here at Cherry Lake, we take that very seriously. Every process that we engage in, a heavy component that we weigh in is how is this going to affect the environment? What kind of footprint are we leaving? Because we realize that what we're doing here is much bigger than just the now. This is about generations to come and, th and that's why we choose to engage in best management practices that aren't always the easiest thing to do, but they're the right thing to do. And so we find that doing the right thing is of the utmost importance to us. Cherry Lake has always been committed to the personal and professional growth of its employees. This includes building a practice and a culture of honest and open communication in its farming practices, while focusing on the safety, passions, and well-being of employees. Everybody has a passion for what they do out here. It's hard work, and I think that everybody here has a passion for growing, along with the passion that the company has. It just drives you to do the best that you can. Personally, that makes me feel proud. Proud to work at a place where they share the same beliefs that I have. I, I share that passion as well. Our engaged employees are the reason that we are able to be so successful. There's no doubt that without their engagement and their innovation and their drive, that uh, we wouldn't be who we are. And we really believe that it's important that our employees find their purpose in what they do. Because as soon as they have that purpose and that conviction of what they're doing, they're going to make good decisions, they're going to innovate, they're going to try to find the best solutions. They take ownership of it and they're, they're trying to make us a better place. When you have 300 people doing that and all with the same goals, uh, we're making an impact and it's really beautiful to see. Planting trees is a very simple thing that people can do. It's very profound and has many lasting impacts. Cherry Lake also provides innumerable time, resources and support that strengthens the local community. Collaborating with the St. John's River Water Management District, local leaders, organizations and volunteers Cherry Lake donated a thousand bald cypress trees to the restoration of the north shore of Lake Apopka to help reestablish water filtration and rebuild wildlife habitats. If you're running a business, it does have to be profitable, but that isn't Cherry Lake's only, only goal. They also look at the social aspect of what they're doing 
and by being a vital part of this South Lake County community, they show great social awareness. Everything they do takes care of the environment into consideration. Part of stewardship is making something last, so I do see Cherry Lake as a great steward of the land and happy to have them as a neighbor. Cherry Lake is not just about aesthetics and landscape. It is also about growing a quality product, building sustainable and environmentally sound farming practices, while focusing on their employees' safety and nurturing a happy, productive work environment. That's what farming is all about. It's about cultivating relationships, cultivating people, cultivating your land, and doing it in a way that's respectful and that allows everybody to grow, to grow and become better. Whether we're making our land better or our people better, we're farming, and that's what farmers do. I personally challenge myself every day to be more like a tree, which means to stand strong, to be rooted in the earth, to have courage and convictions, to branch out, and to be connected to nature. Our family is very fortunate to be able to do this together. It's a great profession, and to do it with my family and with a great group of people that I enjoy being around is the best part.